Hi everyone, it's the Cotswold Photographer here. I'm just going to do a quick physical comparison of the Fuji XE2 on the left and the Fuji X Pro 1 on the right. Um, a lot of people are trying to decide between these two models. Um, let me just firstly say that the X Pro 1 that I've been using has been updated to firmware version 3.10, so it has very similar features now to the XE2. Um, the first thing I'll do is apologise for the quality of the video and the light. Um, I'm filming this on a Samsung smartphone, it's an old one, um, and it's very dark here in England at the moment in the middle of winter, so again my apologies for that. Um, okay, so the Fuji XE2 you can see is noticeably shorter than the X Pro 1. Okay, um, the layouts are very similar. On the back of the X Pro 1 we have the uh, playback review button here, okay, uh, and it's been moved on the XE2 to the left hand side of the LCD screen. Um, it shouldn't really make any difference because normally when you're reviewing images, you're looking at the LCD anyway. Um, okay, one thing that they have done is they've moved the Q button from here on the X Pro One, which is quite comfortable when you're um, when you're shooting and you've got your eye up to the viewfinder. Um, you can press the Q button and it brings up access to uh, the quick menu which uh, allows you to change the uh, most common, most important settings on the camera whilst your eye is still at the viewfinder. And it's quite easy to do there, I find that very comfortable. Um, I haven't got large hands, I've got about small to medium I suppose size hands. Um, but what they've done is they've moved that Q button on the XE2. Um, if you can see that there, they've moved it above here. I just find that slightly more awkward to get to, but it's probably more the fact that I'm, I'm used to using the X-Pro1 for the last two months, um, and so I think you'll get used to that. Um, the LCDs on the back are um, a similar resolution. I think the X-Pro1 still has a slightly higher resolution LCD, but it, you can't notice anything. Um, Okay, uh, the viewfinder, the electronic viewfinder on the XE2 is actually a better quality one than the one on the X Pro One. Um, it's definitely clearer to look at. Um, it also refreshes more quickly than the X Pro One. But of course, the X Pro One you have the option to have an optical viewfinder as well, so it's what they call a hybrid viewfinder. Um, on top of the camera, if you go above, you can see, let me just bring that closer, you can see that the X Pro One is slightly deeper than the XE2. Um, that's mainly due to the uh, hybrid viewfinder. Um, the X Pro One was allowed you to um, add exposure compensation of plus or minus two stops. They've increased this on the XE2 um, to three stops either way now. Um, what they've also removed is this locking mechanism on the shutter dial from the X Pro One. I found that a little bit awkward. I always used to have to bring the camera and use my second hand um, to do this. And I'm glad. That's, that's the one thing I had a complaint about with the X Pro One ergonomically was that lock dial mechanism. Uh, and they've taken it off on the XE2. The XE2 also has, if you watch this, a little pop-up flash. It's pretty flimsy looking. I don't know how long it will last, but it's there if you want to use it. Uh, okay, I'll pop that down. At the front, as we turn them, they're both, again, very similar. They both use, obviously, the XF lenses. Uh, on the left, I've got the 35 1.4 on the XE2, and this is the 18 f2 on the X-Pro1. The only real difference, again, is the height, the depth. Um, on the X-Pro1, you have this switch here, which allows you to um, change between the optical and electronic viewfinder. You also, obviously, have this opening here, which is for the optical viewfinder, uh, which you don't have on the XE2. Uh, and that adds to the height and, and the depth here. Um, in handling, coming from the X Pro One to the XE2, I found the XE2 to feel quite a bit smaller in the hand, noticeably lighter. It just feels um, it feels like a consumer grade camera, which is what it is. It's a very substantial one, but it, it does definitely feel 
more flimsy than the X Pro One. The X Pro One has a certain heft to it, which I quite like. I'm not sure which I prefer at the moment. Um, as I say, I got the XE2 this morning in the post. I've just had a quick play about with it. Uh, the autofocus is definitely faster. It's not a huge difference, but I um, quickly photographed my neighbour's cat earlier, uh, and the images are on my Flickr account, uh, full res images, which you can see. It just shows the difference in autofocus. Um, the XE2 is definitely snappier to focus. What I also noticed is that the XE2's second generation, I think it's EXR processor in here, is quicker to process the images, meaning that you're ready to take another image more quickly than on the X Pro One. So you can focus very quickly, take the shot, and it's ready almost immediately to take another shot. That's not the case with the X Pro One. The X Pro One does tend to hunt just a little bit, even with firmware version 3.10. Um, uh, and it just takes that half a second to process the image and to be ready for the next shot. It is noticeable, um, and the keeper rate I was getting on the XE2 um, was, m was much higher than on the X-Pro1. Uh, so I, I know a lot of people are trying to choose between these two. What I'm going to do over the next few days is um, go out and shoot with both of them. Uh, and then I will put up a review on my website, which is the cotswoldphotographer.com. There is a link at the bottom of the page, um, which you can click on. Uh, I hope it's been useful just to give you an idea of the ergonomics of both cameras. Um, at least you can get an idea of the size differences, and, and there are slight layout differences as well. But the XE2, if you're coming from an X-Pro1, does feel familiar. Um, they're both very nice to hold, they're very nice feeling cameras, very solid. Um, and as I say, I'll put up a full review on my website, and there are high-res photos um, on my Flickr account that you can uh, download, you can look at on my Flickr account, um, and the links are all below. Thanks for watching. Bye now.